It is award season in Hollywood, the 95th Academy Awards are next Sunday. That's a little over a week away. And film critic Brian Eggert from Deep Focus Reviews is here to share his picks and predictions uh, of this year's Academy Awards. Now let's start with uh, Best Actor, which you say there might be a little bit of controversy between your picks. Yeah, yeah. I think if the Academy was asking me to pick, I would probably go with Colin Farrell mm -hmm. for uh, The Banshees of Inishirin. Um, that, I think, is a performance that aligns really well with the quality of the movie. Um, but I think that the Academy tends to vote for the larger-than-life performances, performances that are uh, really showy. And so I think it's a, real, a battle kind of between uh, Austin Butler and Elvis and Brendan Fraser in The Whale. Okay. Um, Brendan Fraser is giving, you know, he's a very well-known actor, and he's giving a performance that you kind of forget that you're looking at Brendan Fraser as you're watching it. Um, he did win the Screen Actors Guild Award, and he um, is kind of the favorite in that he's he's touting this as his you know comeback performance, and I think a lot of people are buying into that. So. It has been a while since he's been on screen, right? It's been years, hasn't uh, it? He was in. He's been in stuff. Uh, he okay. was in a, a movie last year, uh, uh, No Sudden Move, uh, Steven Soderbergh movie. Uh, so he's been in stuff. It just hasn't been you know bigger movies like this. Okay. Um, so I think he'll he'll definitely take home the award. Well, let's see a preview of uh, Best Actor. Oh, I guess we're going to move on to Best Actress. Uh, who do you have here for uh, for Best Actress? Uh, this, I think, is really a toss-up between Kate Blanchett and Michelle Yeoh. Mm -hmm. Now, Kate Blanchett has won before. She's uh, won for Best Supporting Actress for uh, The Aviator and Best Actress for Blue Jasmine. But she's nominated all the time, and she's likely to get nominated again. Michelle Yeoh, however, uh, she's kind of a screen legend, but she's never been nominated. Now, uh, her performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once is, uh, has more range, I think. She's dealing with you know, martial arts, she's got uh, physical comedy, she's dealing with a complex you know, mother-daughter relationship. Uh, and I think her performance, like, like uh, Brendan Fraser, she won the Screen Actors Guild Award, and uh, so I think she's gonna be the favorite cool. with voters. Let's, let's watch a clip. So you say this movie right here is going to win quite a few awards, you believe? Absolutely. Yeah, I was nominated for 11 Oscars this year. Uh, it's an A24 film, so uh, A24 had more nominations than any other studio. I think people are really recognizing the, uh, what this film accomplished. Okay. Well, how about uh, Best Director? So uh, everybody in this category is outstanding. I really mm -hmm. love all the films here. Uh, you know. Uh, Part of me kind of wants Steven Spielberg to win just because I really love The Fablemans, but I do think that it's going to go to Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert for uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. They're taking really complex ideas and they're boiling them down and making them really accessible for people. So this is a movie that's that's funny, it's heartbreaking, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're making that into uh, th what I think is a real underdog story for them. Uh, people are seeing them as you know independent working with an independent studio, working on this film for five years, mm -hmm. and working on a mid-level budget, and doing so much and with such limitations that, and I think that's really what great directing is all about, overcoming those limitations. Sure, do you think this has a, a running for best picture? Absolutely, I, this is my pick for best picture, absolutely. Is there anything else that could maybe jump in, you know, at the last second. Yeah, I think, um, you know, if, if people want to vote more conventional, I think th that Banshees of Inishirin uh, might win. I also think that kind of the populist vote would be uh, Top Gun Maverick. I know a lot of people love that. There's a narrative about that sort of saving Hollywood. Um, but ultimately, I think this is going to be everything everywhere all at once is night. Um, ag again, you know, it's just doing so much. Uh, it's accomplishing, uh, you know, breaking down these really complex ideas and both narratively and cinematically, it's just doing things that you don't normally see in movies today, and yet it reached such a wide audience. And you mentioned Top Gun Maverick. Uh, when was the last time you would say a movie that was that popular ended up winning Best Picture? Uh, boy, I, I don't know. In the theaters, I mean, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that a box office favorite, uh, probably Titanic. Mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings, yeah, Return of the King, yeah. Did Departed, did, did The Departed win? Uh, the Departed uh, did very well in the theater, but mm -hmm. um, it wasn't like the top performer okay. that year. Yeah. Sure.
All right. Well, the Oscars are coming up a week from Sunday on March 12th, and you can find all of Brian's predictions on his website, deepfocusreview.com. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, really appreciate it. Great insight.